Hello friends, I'm Moom and today we're diving in the fantastic world of Linux again. And today I'm gonna show you an amazing operating system which is relatively new, sort of, but gives you the best experience of Arch Linux out of the box with beautiful desktops. Like really man, this new operating system slash distro is literally amazing, especially for those who want to tie Arch Linux for the first time. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So the operating system I'm talking about is Axe OS and by far in my opinion this is the best operating system based on Arch for beginners or anyone. It is literally beautiful with three amazing desktops starting with this then we have a sleek one this and then we have a KDE professionalism and minimalism one this. I, pre I personally like KDE's this one but these two are also awesome. And it is really lightweight along with well. And it's an independent community based system so you don't have to worry about anything. And it is fully customizable as it is Arch. All you have to do is just go to download AxOS. Okay man, by far this is the best bootloader out there. Man this is beautiful, I want this. Okay then, I may end up even installing it so yeah, let's just start the operating system. Okay, this bootloader actually looks damn good. Yep. Man, I'm literally starting to like it. I may even distro hop again to this operating system. And it's arch based. And this boot animation is literally amazing. Man, literally, this is the best desktop I have ever seen on any distribution out of the box. When I press Windows key, then it is just all the workspaces along with the ability to search across everything. Whether I type a command, it will open in terminal. And by the way, this terminal does look good. When you take a look at this, man, this is the best. How can I forget? It's still in, well, bootloader mode. That is why a lot of things have not properly loaded yet. And I had to, well, customize the grub menu for this particular operating system because NVIDIA GPU is not supported. And right now it is not even using my GPU for rendering. It is just software rendering. Well, leaving that, this is the dashboard of this operating system. Just like that. You have all the notifications and I can change wallpaper as well. Control Super T. Let's try it. There it is. These are the pictures where I'll see the wallpapers which I cannot right now. So let's just go back. Now this dashboard is pretty good. Then we have the settings just there, which actually customizes the whole Windows manager. You can customize most of the real stuff which you would need and then Bluetooth devices, audio source, Wi-Fi, everything is just there. And then you can also add your to-do list and finish to-do list like it's actually just the best in my opinion for anyone who is a productivity geek and wants a beautiful operating system. Then we have Gemini Assistant. Well, a Google AI API key is required which you can get from well. That is why when I tried to search how's the weather, it could not reply because it doesn't have the key right now. Well, it will later when it, we install it. Then we have the updates where we can just click one, one click here and it's going to update in the background. Now leaving that, let's just take a look at all the applications we have. Like, yeah, all of these are pretty basic stuff in my opinion. Like, yes, you have Firefox. There we go. And then as terminal, we have something called foot. Now, this is literally the gorgeous one I've ever seen. Like really man, amazing. Sudo pacman dash syu. This should update everything. And as we can see, it is pretty structured. Like yes, this is the stuff you would want on your PC for day to day life. But first, let's just try and install it. Okay, install AxOS. And not to forget this conky widget and everything, especially these as well. Start, then religion, I'm not gonna do that stuff. Enter, next, then you can change locale. Yeah, it looks damn good, but why cannot I go ahead? Additional locals, mean local. Okay, so I actually need to set everything here. Yep, everything looks okay. Okay, why cannot I go ahead from here? Select a local. It has been selected. Alright, I actually do get why this is again happening again and again. Well, you see, 
my PC is de definitely not supported out of the box because it doesn't support GPU acceleration from NVIDIA or any NVIDIA GPU which is really bad and even if I was able to get into running like yeah I was even if I was able to customize Grub to get it into booting but it will still not work because NVIDIA GPUs are still not supported properly and that is why my CPU is all time high and it's gonna be because it doesn't have any NVIDIA support. Let me just go to some recordings from other people to continue the video shall we. So talking about AxeOS then yes, AxeOS was made by a person known as Ardog. He's a French developer and two years ago he was searching for an operating system which could deliver performance along with an aesthetic design but he could not find that. So he made his own and by far, he, a single person, has defeated all the other distribution companies and almost every Linux distro out there. He has defeated them. You see, AxOS prioritizes beauty and modernity, offering a visually appealing user interface, along with a very minimal desktop environment, delivering power and lightweight performance, along with absolutely no data is sent to the AI. AXOS, AXOS, AXOS maintainers or any third parties in facing user security. And the best part, AXOS installer Episla, Epsi, Epsilon can locate any package in the AUR repository facilitating a complete installation setup. If you have a non-NVIDIA PC setup because it does not support NVIDIA at all. Man, that's such a pain for me. Especially when I'm in love with this operating system. And AxOS is an ind and AxOS is an independent project with no organization behind it, allowing you and the developer for full customization of every aspect of the system, from appearance to functionality. Now that let's come to the main part. AxOS offers multiple desktop environments. Literally, man, that is just the best. So the first one is Plasma Edition, a feature-rich and modern desktop environment with complete desktop experience for everyone. Then they have Akala, a fast and minimal desktop environment based on awesome WM but better. And then we have Hyperland, an edition that is currently in beta and it is considered unstable but really beautiful and awesome. And I've already told you how to download it and talking about it then, Axis is developed and maintained by Ardox, a French developer who was working on the project for over 4 years. The project is open source, contributions are welcomed through GitHub repositories and users can join the community by Discord for support and discussions. And their recent version 24.10 had a new log screen style, login bug fixes and updating visioning system. Now. You see, it is almost equal to Arch install which allows you to completely install everything. First, the addition, Plasma, Hyperland or Kala. Then, kernels, whether you want normal Linux kernel or LTS or Zen kernel. Man, that is damn good. Like, in, in conclusion, this is by far the best operating system if it had NVIDIA support. Yes, I am a little angry but also in support with the developer that yes, this is literally just the best operating system I've ever felt. Like even if it was a for it was for a few minutes, I could not install it. But even in the live boot, it was damn smooth and awesome. And if you have a non-NVIDIA PC, then you're in luck. You can directly install it from the link in the description. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm on signing out.